don't hit body hammers with body hammers. Unless you're me. Taking the rivets out so we can just assemble this. This is one of the parts we bought for the car so it's more compact. I've put everything else away. We're taking everything apart. We gotta match it up so we can start sending stuff out for crown. Popping apart, but other places are tight. without having to put a torch on it. So I'm gonna put it in on a steel table and get it apart. I thought it'd pop apart a little easier, but it's so damn old and rust. It's just in there. Oh man, they don't want to pop apart. They're old as shit, rotted on there. And uh, I don't want to come out. Riveting. Yes, <laughs> riveting. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little dead. Your weird, your weird cap of dry humor. <laughs> yep, just trying to get her apart. Get it in! Get her out of the way. Ooh. All right. Ooh. All right. This is the inner fender wells of the 48 Chevy. Um, we've never done anything with them except for kind of straighten some of the edges to bolt them all in for supporting the fenders and the cowling and all. Um, so we pulled them all out. We're tearing the car down to paint. They had a little surface rust around the sides. Well, it's turned into everything under the black has got a brown surface rust. So I've glass beaded a good bit of this side. I'm going to glass bead more every time I stop. Uh, this is like this spot. See that brown right there? That is underneath of the primer. I glass beaded a little bit. So under all the primer on this black, I'm gonna strip it back off real clean. It's not taking real long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and glass bead this side so we can put both of these in epoxy and put them in chassis black and then they can hang inside the shipping container until we put them back in. So that's, I just wanted to show you real quick. Watch your back.
thought of the black primer off. This is from the other shop, the Porters, and had surface rust in a couple different places. And we're gonna spray all this with an epoxy and then a urethane rubberized stone guard and put black chassis black over it. So the original had tar all over it and we're gonna use a stone guard to protect the metal and make it last longer. So it won't get rock chips and rust on the inside ever again. So I just wanted to strip it back down, make sure I didn't have any rust under the rest of the primer and, and go through it and uh, blend it all in. But it's gonna get a rubberized coating over all this. Well, okay. Are you what? We're waiting. I don't know what you were. Huh? What?